dressed down Duchess. Meghan wears trainers for the first time on a royal outing as she joins Harry at an Invictus sailing race in Sydney, and the trendy 115-pound shoes have serious eco-friendly credentials. She is most often seen looking perfectly polished, but the Duchess of Sussex proved she can also pull off a casual look as she joined Prince Harry for an Invictus Games event on Sunday. Pregnant Meghan, 37, swapped her favorite sky-high stilettos for a pair of trainers as the couple headed out on a boat to watch a sailing race in Sydney Harbour. It marks the first time mother-to-be Meghan has worn trainers on an official royal appearance. While her sister-in-law the Duchess of Sussex is known for her love of superga casual trainers, Meghan opted for a stylish £115 pair from French footwear brand Veja. In keeping with her pattern for promoting eco-conscious brands, Veja makes their shoes from organic cotton, vegetable tanned leather and sustainably managed rubber. Earlier in the day Meghan wore her favorite Aquazura de Nouveau bow pumps, which retail for $1,053 pounds, along with a $935 pounds, blazer by Californian brand Legends and a black turtleneck jumper by Australian company Wolford. By the afternoon Meghan was dressed down for the fast-paced event on the harbour. She matched the trainers with a pair of black jeans and chic round sunglasses. She accompanied her equally as casually dressed husband Prince Harry, who wore blue jeans and a pair of grey Adidas gazelle trainers with his waterproof jacket. The couple and their entourage took a rib out to a yacht, a 40-foot Hans 400 model, where they met an American couple who were cheering on their son. Despite the slightly choppy water, the couple stood up to see the race in action, laughing and smiling as they held on to railings for support. The Duke and Duchess then disembarked the yacht and got back in their rib. The couple are currently on a 16-day tour of Australia, New Zealand, and Pacific Islands. The Duke of Sussex encouraged his pregnant wife to slow down after she felt tired when the opening of the Invictus Games overran by nearly two hours, royal sources said. Sources told Mail Online it wasn't that the Duchess was feeling ill, but that they were trying to pace her given how many engagements they have coming up. We have to try to pace her. We have to make sure she is well paced and not overdoing it. She had a very late night last night, they said. She wants to do everything, but Prince Harry is encouraging her to pace herself. We want to make sure she gets enough rest at the beginning of the day and at the end of the day. If it has been a very late night due to unforeseen circumstances. We have to adjust for that. The couple's busy schedule includes 76 events over the 16-day tour of Australia, New Zealand, and Pacific Islands. It is understood that Meghan will fly to Fraser Island with her husband on Monday as planned, but will not undertake many engagements due to the uneven terrain.